Oops. We got another one coming for you. We're gonna be doing a market review. Let's get into it. Of course, it's the Ohuhu marker. So throughout the video, I'm gonna be giving my opinion on it and then give rating at the end. So stay till the end. But of course, we gotta get working on that artwork. So let's do it. And there it is. That's the sketch. And you know, we gotta use our super magic that trick. And you gotta use the blue ballpoint pen. And there it is. Let's keep it going. If you guys wanted to know, I used the brush, the Micron brush fine liner. Uh, pretty challenging to use, but you know, get some practice. Do it, do it, you know. Okay, I've been doing a whole bunch of different styles as recent, so getting into a doodle felt good. Hopefully, I can be good about it. So, so far, I can't say anything about the markers because, you know, we're, we're still working on the sketch. But, if this one took a little while, I made a pretty good duel to use the markers. It was big enough for me to spend some good time with the markers. So, There's the sketch. <sighs> you know what's coming next? Inking, baby. Look at that, we're already halfway done. special erasing skills. And next, we head into the tasty lines. You know how it is.
I'd like to make a quick shout out to all my Instagram followers. Appreciate your support, you know, over there with the new algorithm rhythm. Things have been, been too good. So anybody who supports, I appreciate it. There's the Ohuhu Markers. Let's give it a shot. Uh, straight off the bat, I got a 48 set from Ohuhu off of Amazon. So the color selection was interesting. Um, if you guys watched my video on Digital Artists Goes Traditional for the first time, um, I said that the caps on the markers don't show the color that actually goes on the paper and it's kind of hard to deal with that but once you use the swatch cards it becomes easier you know to keep track of so far I, I do appreciate the, the brush nibs I didn't even use the chisel tip um, in this piece whatsoever um, but the brush nib felt nice um, it gets a different feeling as you use it so like if the nib becomes softer um, it's a pretty firm and tough nib when you first use it but then it comes softer as you uh, work with it but it's pretty good I like the blending the blending went pretty well um, if you just have to swatch out your colors first and make sure that you blend them well and test out the colors before I was I had a bit of experience using these so I'm not too worried about what colors I used oh man and there's the color all right boy I hope you guys like the video and enjoy the review Right. If I were to give these a rating, I'd give these a solid nine because they're so cheap. They have good vibrant colors. They went really well. It came with a nice case, swatch cards, um, and it had a lot of colors. It was definitely worth the money, and I definitely highly recommend them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to sub. Be sure to share with all your friends and check out the description important information there all right y'all have a good one and keep making art